she's unaware. Is she recording? Hi guys, we're at the pool store because we're getting things to um, get our pool organized and straightened out. Um, we cleaned it out yesterday and now we're going to, we tested the pH and now we're going to add some I don't know, chemicals or whatnot to get it flowing. So we're at the pool store for the second time. We were actually here yesterday and just picking up what we need. Yeah. <laughs> we might get a today. No, I don't think you can swim today. I don't know. We'll see. You coming? Yeah, we're just, you know, we need to go to another store. Possibly Canadian Tire or Walmart. Both of which are. Where's Canadian, where's our Canadian Tire and Walmart? We'll get it close together. I should have recorded you t testing the new car. Oh, he's yeah. getting a new vehicle. I'm buying, a, I'm buying a clutch. And he feels so, I don't know. Now he can go swimming whenever he wants. It's a shift, so he feels all cool and stuff. Yeah. Hi guys. It is, what, um, it's Saturday. And you guys would have seen us earlier this morning at the pool store. Uh, as you know, we do have an above ground pool with our house and so we've been working hard to get that going We've been um, cleaning it and doing all that other stuff And so today we're shocking the pool. We're actually putting in this chemical that's supposed to just I Don't even know really it's supposed to I think just bring the pH balance up to normal so that um, everything will be cool and we can swim in it. I'm sure there are other details, uh, scientific details that I'm missing out of what I'm saying, but that's not important. Um, so yeah, we are going to be hopefully swimming tomorrow. That's the plan and that will be cool. So I'll definitely show you our first dip in the pool because we, because of the time that we're moving, it's not, we don't even have that much time with the pool because summer is pretty much done. We have it, the, we're probably going to have it open till like Labor Day and then we're going to be shutting it down. So it's pretty, it's bittersweet because we do get to go in it anyways, but it's probably going to be short lived until next summer. And you know what? It's still going to be a blast next summer. So hi guys. I have a toffee in my mouth, but I just moved and um, I put up this mirror right at the front of my hallway. So every time I'm going out the door, I can take a little video to show you guys what I'm wearing if I'm dressed up. Today I'm dressed up a little bit and I'm wearing this half um, top. This is Lululemon. Mm, Lululemon. No, it's not Lululemon. It is. I will interject it because I forgot. Um, I'm wearing this long skirt it flows all the way down to the ground basically will be over covering my Birkenstocks I'm wearing this top I've had three kids guys so I don't have like the flattest tummy to wear this but that's what it looks like that's what I'm gonna wear and then I styled my hair in this mohawk style so that is it bye to you. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him. There's a cricket in our house. He was in here last night and he was downstairs and Not yet. he somehow made his way all the way up the stairs and behind the fridge. So we move the fridge. He's down there. Ah! There, he's gone. <laughs> he's not afraid anymore. You hear me? Yeah, kind of. Oh wait, I just gotta let him jump to the side. Don't. Here, Mick. Not that catalog. I want to actually see this catalog. Hey, it's called the Venus. It's not actually mine. Pass me the lid. Give it. Pass me the lid. Give it. Pass me the lid. So here's a little culprit, guys. This is the little sucker that we caught. We're about to let him out, but we couldn't. Um, I couldn't show you the process because my sister called right in the middle of it. But look at him. Ew. Creepy crawly. Creepy crawly. He is a loud. You guys have heard. Do I have food on my mouth? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys have heard um, crickets before. They are so loud. He was really loud. It was in the basement last night and then we couldn't find him anywhere. So he somehow trekked his way all the way up here and hid behind the fridge. the fridge. Like, make your way out the door. How's he supposed to get out the door if it's locked? Well, maybe you could have, st you could have stood and waited patiently by the front door. And maybe so your dad was going to work. So when your dad was going to work, then you could just hop right out. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe we could have left it open for him. 
That is not. You're kind of hurting him, you know. <laughs> You're shaking I'm not. him out. You're just like this. I am not. And he's like, bobble, bobble in the jar. <laughs> Don't listen to her. I did no such thing. No bobble, such thing. Bobble, bobble in the jar. How far, 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 far can you fly so high away? <laughs> I love you, little beast. Not. I don't like crickets. I like him in the jar. <laughs> now we're going to go release him. So we're animal savers, guys. We didn't kill him. I shall now release him but next time, into the wild. We Here, Michaela. You do it. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you will now release him into the wild. I'll let you know because I know you appreciate this part, you know? <laughs> child safety lock. Oh, it's not a child safety lock. It's criminal lock. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Run, run, run. Okay, I'm locking you out. Oh, I thought you were going to run. Hurry up, hurry up. I know, I know. Don't bring any more bugs in. Look at the pool, guys. The girls went for a swim yesterday, and I wanted to capture the first He's in the grass. Splash. We've been free and in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> We've been free and in the pool. Now we've got to fill this jar with pickles. Now, huh, now we need to clean up that counter over there. Are you being serious? No. <laughs> Don't play with me, man. I fell for it. But there was out one outside behind your head. <laughs> what good is that? It's the same thing, really. Okay, up to bed. Up to bed. No, no, no. <laughs> this is when the Jamaican comes out. Up to bed, kids. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm not playing, though, for real. And mm -hmm. the American, he will, <laughs> I don't know. The American and the Jamaican comes out late at night. You know what I'm saying? When these kids don't listen. Girls, I'm serious. Put the boogie board away. Um, um, hello? <laughs> I'm trying to hide. Please don't tell mom who I am. <laughs> uh, I am mom. Let's go. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> come on. Okay, come on. Look, good. You're covered in mosquito bites. Come on, get up. Okay, wait. Stand up for your right. Blah, blah, blah. Get up. Stand up, Shar. I'm serious. Let's go. Okay. I'm not waiting for you to, to write nonsense on the boogie board. Up to bed. I would have just seen Aaron, but he had to run up to bed because he has to wake up super early. So um, I need to clean up this stuff that we just used. I just made peanut butter sandwiches. Where can I prop you? Where can I prop you so you all can see me? <sighs> there it's a little dark sorry for the quality and <laughs> sorry for my hair but we just came off the street i ran we ran on the street to home sense to pick up a few accessories for the house because we were in dire need of certain things like um an extra storage thing unit behind because the last place our cupboard was a little bit longer so and we had an extra bathroom. We actually had multiple bathrooms. We had, well, we do have multiple bathrooms. But in the last place, we had an extra. We had three bathrooms. In this home, we only have two. Yeah. So that's a little thing I'm sharing with you. For those of you who are impatiently awaiting for the home tour, I am going to give you one. Just please, please, give me a moment. Let me... Um, just get things in order and not show my house looking all chaotic because you wouldn't want to do that, so why would I, right? Not trying to throw shade, I'm just saying. Just saying. And I'd be looking like Sideshow Paul talking to you guys. <laughs> I'm looking all kinds of crazy. I did a twist out and here are some of the twists still in there. So I... Guys, I'm horrible with my hair. You see what I just did? That's like illegal to the hair community. You're supposed to start at the ends and unravel in a nice manner, like from down here or somewhere, you know? Me, no. I just go in with my fingers, fork it right through. I'm sure um, I would have a lot of gorgeous length to the hair if I didn't do that. But it's girl. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh no, I, I didn't just show you all the back. There is a fly in here, Aaron. <sighs> I gotta go kill this fly by myself. I gotta go kill this fly. Okay. Anyways, let's go upstairs and see what those kids have done in the meantime because I bet you they didn't do half of what they were supposed to do. So let's go check that out. I'm going to turn you all off for a second because you won't be able to see me.
going around the corner because the light over there is off. Girls! This is the current situation, guys. Yes. For those of you who think moving is a joke, it is not. It's serious, especially when you've got a lot of stuff because, um, you know, hubby was kind of left doing a lot of the main stuff around the house and I was kind of left unpacking a lot of the boxes that were up here. I'm whispering because it's late and the girls are getting ready for bed and uh, hubby's about to go to sleep. He's not quite sleeping yet, so I'm not sure why I'm talking in a low voice. But um, I still have that junk to find it a home. Can y'all believe I actually pick that up every night and put it to the corner? And then in the morning, I pick it back up to start getting it, I don't know, putting it away, and it still just stays there. Because there's so many other things to do. It's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. And the junk on my vanity, the junk on the dresser, <sighs> That's why we kind of ran out to get some organizers because there's stuff kind of everywhere and we need to either be able to put it somewhere or just let it go. And I've been letting go things go, trust me. I've been doing a good job at that. Hey guys, just got home. Question of the day. So, if any of you guys have a pool, I want to know how often you guys clean it and you guys always use a vacuum because I've been swimming around with that net for a little while. We're going to the vacuum. Anyway, your comments would be helpful. To me, at least. Thanks. Girls, let's go.